Hello. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate for you how to operate and read an FM 1050 series rotometer. In this case, we have a 603 tube in the meter, which corresponds with E500 in its part number. So what we'll do is set the flow of the glass ball for an arbitrary value. Let's say about 95 millimeters. And what may be desirable is to rotate the tube a bit so that you can see that the float is in the middle of the graduation for reading. And we can see that that is the case here. So let's rotate it back. We'll take a look at our flow curve for the glass float. It's important to note that you have the proper flow curve. We want standard liters per minute helium for units. That's good. The tube number should match what's in the device, 603E500. We want to read the glass float. We've got glass here for float material. Additionally, the delivery pressure is very important. In this case, we want zero PSIG. The pressure that you choose is the pressure that is in the tube. Most people have the valve on the inlet with the rotometer flowing to an instrument or process at atmospheric pressure. In that case, you would use the zero PSI charts. If your valve is on the outlet of the rotometer, then use either a pressure correction factor or a reference chart corresponding to the pressure in the tube. So we'll locate 95 under the scale reading, 95 millimeters that is, and we can see that it corresponds with 3.5219 standard liters per minute helium. So at this point, I'd like to demonstrate how you would read the stainless steel float. We begin to read the stainless steel float once the glass float has uh, risen above the measurable range of the meter. So in this case, we're looking at 100 millimeters. So I'm going to determine what flow rate that point corresponds with. So again we take a look at our flow curve. In this case it's again units are standard liters per minute helium. The tube number is 603E500 which is what we want. That's what we have in our meter. So the float material is 316 stainless steel and also the delivery pressure being 0 PSIG is what we want. So we locate 100 millimeters under the scale reading column. There it is. And we shift over to the flow rate, which is 7.7546 standard liters per minute helium. And that's essentially how you read and then interpret what your flow rate is 